guys, so welcome to my nursery and I had a request to um, do a video of my nursery and my baby. So I'm going to introduce them and I'm going to try to make this video as short as possible. And this is London and I forget who is she by. Um, she's actually the London Sculpt, I know that. Um, hmm. Yikes, I forgot. But anyway, she is my one of my very first... Um, reborns that I got I had adopted her out about a couple years ago or a year ago two years ago and I actually um, traded her back with the person and got her back so um, this is baby London and um, she actually represent my firstborn daughter because of her little chunky thighs and her skin tone so that is London cool and then over here in the crib we have Sky by Marita Winters which is Chase and he has beautiful glass, um, like a greenish color eyes. And he is in limbo of either staying in the nursery or leaving. I'm still feeling some type of way. You know, it's been a while trying to sell him. But anyway, that is Chase. And um, then we have Brayden. And Brayden is uh, my baby that was reborn by, oh, Chase was an eBay purchase, by the way. Um, London was purchased by an eBay purchase too by Brittany. Um, she's on YouTube, but I forgot she changed her last name. Um, this is Brayden, um, and he is the Brayden Sculpt by Nicole Russell, and he is a baby from Stephanie Ortiz in Love with Reborns 2011, which is absolutely a fabulous baby. Um, he's preemie, but he fits newborn size, small newborn size because. She put him on a bigger body so that he could be easier to shop for, which I appreciate. <laughs> um, he also was an eBay purchase, by the way. Um, this is my baby that I recently um, also was up for sale. And since it was taking too long, I just decided maybe I'll just keep her and go get her some hair and stuff and some lashes and stuff and finish her off. Um, I bought her as a painted kit by BB Studios. Um, she has a beautiful skin tone. And, um, yeah, she's a little chocolate baby. And she's Lexi by Sandra White. Um, and like I said, she was painted by BB Studios. And then I had, of course, she has also a custom body um, by Carmen McNair. And most of my babies, I change out their bodies. Um, and um, she was so she was put together and weighted by me. And... Um, this baby is not my baby anymore. Um, my mom's just waiting for me again to switch her body. I've switched it a couple times. She didn't like it, so now i got to put her back on a jointed body. My mom's want hers bigger. She is um, Aisha by Marissa May, and she was also an eBay baby long years ago, about three years ago, and um, she wasn't what I thought she was supposed to be. When I got her, she also had a few little uh, boo-boos on her that wasn't disclosed. But I was going to love her anyway, but I took her to my mom's house to show her. And my mom did not let her leave the house, so I just gave her to her. So that is that little girl. I'm just showing everybody that's in my nursery right now. And that is Buggy. And um, I just thought of that name when I looked at her right now. <laughs> Because um, that's like a little raggedy, little dirty little doll. Look, her feet is all dirtied up. She's all scuffed up, but she makes great little sounds. So sometime in my videos, you'll hear some of the sounds. And when I have the little baby over, she'll drag her around and stuff like that. So, yeah. And um, that's a bear that came with Yasmin, I believe. And then here is my Paris Me Amour, which is... Um, my yogi baby and she is also she's the next to oldest to london um baby that i've had in my nursery for quite some time and um her shoes is too big but it doesn't matter they sunflower and um she's falling asleep but yeah that's paris me amour reborn by yolanda glover yogi Bachi yogi you'll see i have um how many yogi babies i have i have three yogi babies right now in my nursery so um yeah and there is Yasmin and Yasmin has painted hair and she is sculpted by Tina Cooey and um she's such a beautiful little she's my little biracial newborn baby girl 
And I'll take a Patsy out, and that's her without her Patsy. Um, to me, she is one of the most beautiful um, Tina Cooley babies ever. The vinyl is so soft on Tina Cooley babies, by the way. Um, absolutely love her. She's highly detailed. I don't know if you guys can see. She has so many details. She's detailed like my Zoe. Um, and then we have, I want to show the boys last. My three fabulous boys over there on the bed. And then I'm going to show you guys Miss Zoe. And Zoe is, she's in her little dress today. <laughs> oh, mommy loved this little snackapoo. Yeah, she's in her little dress. So she got her little um, bloomers on and she's her little ruffle socks. And she's got her little hat on. And yeah, that is Zoe Taylor. And she's actually the Zoe Sculpt by Claire Taylor. And she's a full body silicone baby. So... Um, she is my most recent baby, um, and the only full body baby that I have, silicone baby that I have in the nursery. And then I have my angel. My angel is a very special baby. I am very, very serious about this baby. Um, and my, ish, uh, my angel is also a yogi baby, um, bad chick yogi 77. I don't know if you guys can see her here. But she has fabulous, like, newborn hair. And, um, she sucks her thumb, but she's not sucking it now, but she sucks her thumb. And she does also take a modified passy. Sorry. She takes a modified passy and a magnetic passy, and that happened to be a magnetic passy. But she is definitely one of my favorites. She's, um, Harley by Melanie Hess. And, um, she's a sold-out edition baby. Um, most of my babies are limited edition sculpts, not by, um, on purpose, but it just kind of fell that way. Um, so yeah, she's, um, very newborn size. And then my next Yogi baby is also another one of my forever babies. And he is actually one of my most favorite babies, um, favorite, favorite babies because he is my darkest baby in the nursery, so he just takes over, and he has open eyes, and he's newborn, and I just absolutely love Joanna K. Sculpt. Um, the, he is the Alexa Sculpt by jo Joanna K., and I don't know how to pronounce her name. It's like Cabinets or that. <laughs> so um, that is him, and as promised, I told you guys you would see him with his binky in. Um, I did modify it. He takes a modified passy, and he also has a magnet. Oh, for a magnetic pacifier. And he has little thin legs and curved legs. And, um, yeah, he's he's full limb as, all, as well. So, um, yeah. So, Mommy just did, like, little pigtails in his hair. He's a full head of curly hair. And then we have my other silicone baby, who is um, Ja'Cory. And I always want to call Jamari and Ja'Cory the same thing. And... He is actually a partial silicone baby. He does have a tummy plate. Um, so a silicone tummy plate. So he sometimes appears to be full body, but he is actually just partial. And he was done by the awesome Rachel Perel. Um, and he is um, the Polyscope, and which is a sold out edition as well. But um, I think Rachel Perel is the next... The next best thing to my um to Claire Taylor in my opinion for ethnic babies. Um, someone asked, is it hard to find an ethnic silicone? Yes, because a lot of them tend to have a grayish tone, but I'll get into that a whole nother time in another video about um shopping for ethnic silicone babies. It is a tricky thing to do. Um, but yes, he is He's a fully sculpted mouth, and I know you guys probably won't be able to see it, but he has gums, he has a tonsil, he has a tongue, he has a whole nine yards, and he also sucks his thumb too. So yes, he is mommy's favorite baby, um, silicone boy, and he is the first silicone baby that I actually 100% had no complaints and adored. I think he's very realistic. You can take him out anywhere, and um, he's absolutely beautiful. Um, him and my Claire Teller baby are two totally separately painted, totally different. So there's really no comparison. There's just, they're just both. I love both of them and I love both of their artists. Um, and last but not least, this is the last baby that I received. 
in the store bought him here. He is baby Jamal, and he is Jamal Lyons, and he is um, the Knots Kit by Laura Lee Eagles, and he's also a sold out edition, but you can also find the kits floating around somewhere. But he was uh, he came from France, and he was painted by Lucy Boron, and um, so yeah, and he has a little tummy plate. He is a vinyl baby. He's not a silicone, um, but I absolutely love and adore him. And this is the first time you guys are seeing him probably with his binky in, but um, had to do something to get him quiet. So I'm going to step back, and I'm going to show you guys the nursery. And um, I was in the process of trying to get it organized, but I wanted to go ahead and get this video done. And I do need to speed things up because I'm approaching my time limit. So um, I do keep, don't keep all these babies because I don't, as you see, it looks very cluttered with all these babies in here. And I hate the way that looks. So I have a playpen upstairs, a pack and play or whatever crib. So I keep um, my favorite special babies upstairs. Silicone babies never stay downstairs in the nursery. And then I have, um, and I have, they have a, they have clothes upstairs as well. The ones that's upstairs. And then, um, the rest stays down here and then I rotate them out, whoever I want to play with. So here you have, I have a, a, um, diaper stacker with all different sizes of diapers. And then this is what I normally record with when I do my changing videos. And it's my little stand that I got off of eBay. Um, so that is that and then I have a changing table here and this is where of course I do all my most of my videos and changing them and then here is a mess but I have a few diapers so that I can grab them right away hair products baby powder um, scissors for modifying pacifiers in this bin um, I have shoes hanging up on the outside and also lots of shoes and hats inside of there and that's basically all that's in that bin but it's a lot of them also on the side, I have um, regular pacifiers that are not modified and magnetic pacifiers that's modified. And then, of course, I have my crib over there where I showed you guys. And then I have my sitting chair. And sometimes when you see me doing videos, that's where I'm sitting in that chair by the window. And then I have in the closet, which is an utter mess too, um, I have their clothes hanging up mostly. Clothes hanging up and it kind of goes back. And then I have um, the stroller. They have two strollers. So they have this stroller and the other strollers in my car, I think. And then there's their hair accessories, like headbands and barrettes and stuff like that. And then the little small collection of bottles, which I don't have a lot of collections of bottles because I don't use them that much other than for props. And then there's their bin. And then this is for the special baby that is coming in. Um, because I am trying to find more vintage stuff, being that she'll be representing my baby sister that passed away. Well, she is a memory in memory of, but she's going to be my baby. So that's kind of, sometimes I call it my sister, sometimes I call it my baby. I don't know. But, um, and I also will be having to think of a name for her. I think I got a name for her. And um, it's, uh, I got a nickname for her at least. So anyway, so this is a nursery um, and I just wanted to fulfill the request. I said I would, you know, do a video of the nursery. And so, so you have it um, in my four minute, 14 minutes, it's going to be up. So I'm going to, like I said, one more time, just zoom out. I normally have this closed. So hope this answers the question I have. Oh, one last thing. I don't know if I'm going to catch this. Um, in here, I also have I have pictures of my actual reborns and my kids in that. So, see you guys later. Bye-bye.